What's this? What's this? Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cameron. This week, we're joined by BZ and Joe Cherries of the Nitpicking Nerds to figure out which the Nightmare Before Christmas style deck is best in CEDH. <laughs> it's December. It's spooky themed. That's what that's what it is. I'm Joe Cherries of the Nitpicking Nerds. And I'm BZ of the Nitpicking Nerds. And you can find us on YouTube under the name Nitpicking Nerds, I believe. So we have me on CDC Hermit Druid. BZ is playing Carador Hulk. Cameron's playing Gitrog Dakmore combo, and Joe Cherries is playing Ikra Krum Ad Nauseam Breach. Any pregames? Yes. Gemstone Caverns come in. I'm going to exile a, I guess, a City of Brass here. That's very spooky. I'm going to match your spookiness with a Gemstone Caverns. Ooh. Whoa. Good job winning the die roll, Dylan. <laughs> yeah, idiot. I'll do Arid Mesa. No, okay. I lied. It's going to be this post -Sage. Free information. Poseidon who endures. I'm going to play Arid Mesa on turn one. Don't be worried about that. I'll draw a card. Buy you pass. To me, right? That's you. Yay. I'm going to be uh, I'm gonna be playing a Wood of Foothills and cracking it. I'm going to get a Bayou. I'm going to cast Elvish Mist. All right, I'm done. All right, I'll go to my turn. Get a draw. We'll play a Land of War Waste as land for turn. Make a colorless for a Mana Vault. And then cast Elvish Mystic. Pass the turn. Let's draw Arid Mesa. So BZ no longer has free information. Crack Arid Mesa. Fetch up this Volk. Play a Mana Vault. And pass the turn. End step, I'm going to cast Intune. I have no reanimation effects in my hand. I assure you, it's not as scary as it looks. I just mulligan to five and want to use my mana. I was never scared. Just mulligan. <laughs> Hermit Druid in the bin. I'm already a little scared. Nah, it doesn't do anything. Now I can't even draw the Hermit Druid. It's a bad play. Oh, that's true. Okay. Go to my turn. Untap. Draw card. I have Scalding Tarn. I'll crack Scalding Tarn. Go to 39. Find Underground Sea. Cast Dothy Voidwalker. Are you trying to hurt my soul? Yes, very much. Well, consider it done. <laughs> it's pretty good against uh, both of you. Spooky all of you decks? Yeah. yeah, it's really good against spooky decks. Three in hand, I'll pass my turn. Okay, I'll we'll draw. I'm going to play a Scrubland, also real. Thanks for asking. I will tap <laughs> to and try to play a Survival of the Fittest. I think I'm going to pass the turn is what I'm going to do. All right, I'm going to draw for my turn. We'll play Homeward Path. I'm going to tap Mana Vault for three. Collector Oof. Everybody can be sad. Pay... Green, black, going down to 39, and then one, two, three to cast the Get Rock Monster. Untap, draw. I'm going to play this Scolding Tarn. Fetch with the Scolding Tarn. Your right. Tarn is in the void zone. A tropical island. And I'll cast this Gamble. Ooh, that will also go to the Dalty zone. Yes. Sadly, only three cards at each. 25%. The 25% are yes. That is 75% is still a pretty good chance. Don't say it like that. I mean, I'm encouraging. I'm We're encouraging. We're trying to discourage them. Well, this way, they'll just have to pitch it into their graveyard, and then Dylan will get it. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's not good either. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> yeah, discard, discard something good. I want it. I'm so bad at tutor. I had an idea, and then I'm like, is that idea even good? If you run Culling Ritual and can make it till your next turn, Culling Ritual will get rid of Collector Oof and Dothy Voidwalker. Oh, no. I found a card. How are we going to randomly decide this? Nice well, I have... Have a, I have a six-sided die here, and you. I have a four-sided four die. Oh shit! Jeez. Dylan's showing me up. It was me? a one. The card on the left is the card that I would like for you to discard. It's a pyroblast. All right. Well, now Dylan, Dylan has access to pyroblast, and yeah. I am like super duper okay with that. It was actually like best case scenario. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> All right, I'll pass to the turn, Ski. Go to my turn. Draw one card. This Undergrowth Stadium still enters untapped, which is great. I have so few things that actually have an effect on the game. So how do I make the best out of it? I don't think attacking does anything. Oh, it's time for the beats. That's how you win. I don't think so. <laughs> Pass turn. Okay. Let's untap and draw. Play a Bloodstained Murr, and I'm going to throw it into the Voided Zone. I'm going to get Overgrown Tomb. I'm going to shock it, so I go to 36. I'm going to tap three black mana and try to play a Necropotence. I think I'm going to pay 10 life. I'm going to go to my step and put 10 fat cards in my hand, and then I'm going to obviously discard a few of them. I'm thinking High Market's going to get voided. I'm thinking this Marsh Flats is going to get voided. I'm going to be pitching a bunch of artifacts. So a Chromox, Skull Clamp, and Soul Ring are gone. And then we got three lands and an Even Mind Sensor. Oh, so I have access to Even Mind Sensor yes. right now. I'll even, I'll even put it on top. All right, that is going to be my turn. Untap, upkeep. I have a Git Rock trigger, and I need to think about something here. Yeah. I'm thinking I need to do something with this trigger on the stack, but I'm not thrilled about it, and I'm going to try it anyway. I'm going to put a Tainted Pact onto the stack. No responses. Yeah, it's a good thing. Nothing for me.
Reptica is a good one. And we've reached a we've reached a destination. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> we're gonna stop on Abruptica here. This really sucks, and I actually have to use this tainted pack to go get a removal spell for the Dalthy Voidwalker, but I can't win the game at all with that in play. Tainted pack goes into the Dalthy zone as well. And then what I'll do is I will pay one life, cast abrupt decay on the Dothy. In response to the abrupt decay, I'll crack the Dothy Voidwalker to cast Aven Mind Sensor because why not? I think I will respond okay. because survival is worse when it's impulse. Discard a Gata Teague into my actual for real graveyard and I'm going to go fight some. I think I'm going to go get a Dothy Voidwalker, but it's mine, so it's special. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> so funny. And then now we have a, uh, a gift truck monster trigger on the stack. I'm going to sacrifice the homeward path and draw a card off of Gitrog. And then we'll go to my draw for turn. Lose a life from Mana Vault, I think. Oh, yes. Thank you. Let's cast a Jeweled Lotus for when it will be good eventually and go to combat. BZ, we're going to come at you for eight because you're the one with the Necro in play. Well, I guess we can't be friends. I'm going to take eight. I'm going to go to 18, I believe. All right, that's all for me. I'll pass. On tap, draw. I'm really not sure what to do here. I'm just going to pass. Draw card. How many cards are in everyone's hand? One. I got a full grip. Three. Pay two life to get taxi and pro BZ. Ooh. All right, I'll show you I four and then three so I can get them closer to the camera. Oh, God. Now I know BZ has Dolphy Ford walk on his hand. Oh. These are the other three. I'll draw off Gitaxian Pro. I'm going to cast Cabal Therapy. <laughs> oh, look at that combo. Wait a minute. <laughs> BZ, I'm going to target you, and I'm going to name Ad Nauseam. Oh, what are the odds? Must be nice to get so lucky. Then I will also cast Cephalid Illusionist. I will go to combat. Aven Mind Sensor is going to come at BZ. 16. And then I'll pass my turn. OK. I will refuse to draw because I don't even need it. I don't even care. And I'm going to play Bountiful Promenade. I'll tap two mana, and I'll play Dothy, Droidwalker. I'm kind of in trouble. I guess I'm going to tap three for the world's best ranger captain of Eos. <laughs> All right, ready for me to get lucky? I'm ready. Yeah, buddy. Wow, Ooh, unbelievable. Ooh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Ever didn't have it. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. I'm super happy for you. That's right. It's a good one, too. Cameron, yeah. you are not winning this game. I'm sorry. No, <laughs> no I am not. <laughs> no. No, I'm the one in trouble here, too. Now, I have another Dothy I have to go deal with, and I have only one card in my hand, so... This game's looking a little tough. I feel like I'm gonna lose this game to beats. Man. That six six is your best route to victory at this point, Cameron. The six six is gonna be around for very long. <laughs> I'm gonna activate one, two, three, four times. And I'm gonna activate one more time because I'm okay. greedy. <laughs> So I'll go to my end step, put these five cards in. I'm going to pitch a Green Sun Zenith and an Avacyn's Pilgrim, and they will trigger to get exiled. That's my turn. All righty. I'll untap. You got to keep the frog around. You got to tap. I, uh, so, so, no. And <laughs> oh, no. We're going to no. die, Cameron. Well, here's the thing. What am I going to do if I keep the frog around? Attack with a 6-6. Six, six. He's at 11. Yeah, but like... Do what, you, do what you want. I don't want to question you. If you think one land is better, then keep one land. My hand is pretty bad. I don't know who to believe. I don't <laughs> believe anybody. Here's what I'm going to say. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, all right. You know what? I'm going to set up for the future in hopes that the, that the blue players can help out with what's going on. I'm going to lose Gitrog on my upkeep. I'm not sacrificing the land. On my draw, I will lose a life to Mana Vault. 36 and get my card. Mana Confluence is land per turn. We'll cast the Squandered Resources. Pass the turn. This is another reason why I'm looking to not sacrifice more lands. The Squandered Resources is really good for when I'm able to get Gitrog back in play, and I'm getting close to that point again. So let's see how this progresses. Let's go ahead and tap. Oh, you didn't have anything. Nope, I don't want to talk. Uh, we don't have to talk about it, Jerry. Right, I'm going to pass again. Oh, no <laughs> land even? No, nah, no land. Untap up, keep, draw a card. I'm going to cast a Brainstorm right now. Draw three cards, put two back. Brainstorm is exiled to Dothy. Play Rejuvenating Springs. Go to combat. BZ, I, I still think it's right to keep attacking you. You have the Necro, so every right. damage is worth cards. I'll attack you for two in the air. I will be virtually mind rotted and go to nine. <laughs> Pass turn. Okay, so I'm definitely going to go to my up. But now I don't know what I want to do. On my upkeep, I'm going to activate Necropotence twice, and then I'm going to try to nature's claim it. Get to cantrip my Necropotence to 11. <laughs> then I'll actually draw for turn. Play a Bird of Paradise, Death Rate, Shaman. Pass after that, I think. Right. I'll put these cards in my hand for Necropotence. I'll get my untap. Oh, I actually wanted to tap differently. 
You want to do it real quick? Wait, is that because you drew your cards with Necropones? Then now you just no, it's not. Okay, then yeah, sure. I don't have spells to cast. Don't worry about it. On my upkeep, I'm going to actually untap the mana ball. I'm setting up. I get a draw. You can have a way to get rid of that collector oof with all this setup. I will. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. I'm going to go to combat. PZ, I'm going to attack you for two with collector. Oh, you <laughs> son of a gun. <laughs> right into the 3-3. Three, three. No fear. Yeah, I, there's no way I can block. I'm going to go to nine. I'm going to pass a turn after that then. I'm going to try this tainted path. In end step, eh? In end step. It will be voided though. Okay, let's see. I definitely, I don't think I want that island. Though I could just take the island. <laughs> I feel like an idiot. Just untap, cast Chrom, pass turn. Take the stupid island. This is the cantrip. Yes. Right. yes. You love to see it. I love that. <laughs> untap, draw, island, Chrom, BZ. No. Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to take four. All right, okay. Untap, okay. Drucker. I'm just gonna go to combat PZ. I'll attack you two one in the air. All right. Well, I'm gonna tap a green and a black for blocks, I guess. I'm gonna try to cast an abrupt decay on Mr. Mind Sensor. Yeah. You sure you don't want to hit the collector oof. <laughs> Pretty sure. <laughs> Pretty positive at this juncture. All right. So does is, that, that goes back to my graveyard, right? Yeah. Yes, right. it does. Because it was originally yours from from Dothy. Yes. Welcome back, buddy. Yeah, I guess I'm just I'm just not going to cast my commander. I'm just going to pass my turn. Yeah, unfortunately, with Dothy Voidwalker in play and Rager Captain to top it off, I can't really do anything. My deck doesn't really function a ton, so until I can find some removal or remove BZ from the game, I'm kind of just waiting around. This plan also works for me as I go immediately after BZ. So I guess I'll untap, draw, land in Undergrowth Stadium. And I'm going to try to sacrifice Ranger Captain of Bios. Oops, uh, warning everybody. <laughs> Cam, you're first on that? No Keep response. Fans. Sadly, I have no response. I got nothing. So I'm going to activate survival of the fittest. We're going to discard a Thalia. Let's go searching. We're going to throw a holster in my hand, and then we'll throw it in the graveyard with another search. Let's try to make sure I can't screw this up somehow. I'm just missing a sack outlet. I might have to, like, taint it pack for one. Whatever, we can see how that works. All right, I'm going to get Karmic Guide, and uh, I'm going to try to cast it. Target the Hulk. I'm going to use good old Dothy here. I'm going to try to cast that Tainted Pact. In my zone or in uh, I think Joe's zone? Cameron's zone. All right, so be gentle, deck. Elves. Nope. Nope. Viscerous here. Wow. <laughs> That was That's what I wanted the, the whole gentlest. time. That's pretty <laughs> perfect. That's incredible. <laughs> the universe is being kind to me. All right, I'll use Death Rite. I'll just eat Wood of Whittles for a black, and I will cast a Viscerous here. All right, let's sacrifice Protean Hulk. Yes. Yeah. Show me your pile. Oh, boy. This is awkward. What? Are you missing something else? Is uh, I might have another card in my hand that maybe needs to uh, be on the be battlefield. Your, be oh, your deck. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this will be. This just makes the game even more fun. We're gonna get a, a look at old proxied activated sleeper, and we'll get a, a Safi. And let's also get a Stitcher supplier. Activated sleeper is gonna be probably Hulk. And then I guess with the ETB of Stitcher supplier on the stack, I can. Sack Safi to Karma Guide, and then Sack Karma Guide to Scry One, and I'll come back and bring back Safi, and I can do that to Scry my whole deck. So I'm gonna try to do that. Yeah, that maybe, sounds maybe right. That one. Yeah. Yuppers. I can't win Hulk. This is sad, Hulk. Don't you just get like a Blood Artist effect and then keep on doing the Safi Eric stuff? I would love a Blood Artist effect, but there might be a Blood Artist effect in my hand. And you only have one in the deck. That's the issue, obviously. Yeah, I think so. All right, so I guess I'll mill three. It's going to be Dread Return, Solitude, and Command Tower. I think I might have to like hold up a Hulk activation or something. I think I'm going to pass just when you thought the game was over. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, there was Renegade Rallyer. If like one of the cards you get is Renegade Rallyer and you discarded the Blood Artist, you can have Re Renegade Rallyer when it ETBs, bring the Blood Artist back. Yeah, I actually remember BZ saying that after this game, he put Renegade Rallyer in the oh, deck shit. because <laughs> it wasn't in the deck in game one. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Zulaport Cutthroat is in this list now. So, too. He's, so he's updated his list and he's figured out yes. he needs a, little, a couple extra of these things. Go to my turn. We'll get a draw. Carpet of Flowers. Go to combat. BZ coming at you with Collector Roof. This time I can block and not kill it. I'm going to block with Karmic Guide. I'll sack Safi to it. And then I will sack Karmic Guide to Viscer Seer. And we'll bring him back. 
Darn it. <laughs> Darn. Do you right. know how your deck works? Okay. Yeah. All right. Second main. Joe has three islands, right? Three. I'm going to make three green mana off of the carpet. Going down to 34 off mana confluence here. Paying six total mana for Court of Calling, X equals three. Who's next in line? Uh, Cherries, do you have a response? No response. I think you have a crown trigger though, right? Oh, I do have a crown trigger. That's true, yeah. This I is have a crown trigger on Beezy's turn. Yeah, you should have had it off of the Taint Impact. It is not a May. Yeah, wow. you can draw that extra card if you want. Do you have a response um, now with your extra cards? No. <laughs> I'm good on Cord also. Sack Safi to Karma Guide. I guess I'm going to scry my deck first, if that's cool. Yep. You're in like demigod mode right now. Like you can yeah. kind of do almost anything that you want, but- I can take a hundred game actions. Yeah. <laughs> you do anything to piss me off, I'll take one action a thousand times. So then with the final Karma Guide entry, I'm going to target this Mind Sensor. All right, so I can only look at the top four. Yep. Are you as lucky as me? Here's one, two, three, four. Nice. Okay. What we got there? Get a Grist to the Hunger Tide. Oh, wow. So Grist will come into play with three. Actually, this is pretty good. Because what I can do, I can minus two Grist to sack Collector Oof. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I also get to destroy a creature, and I think Dude. I don't know what it is. Is it Vasir Seer? Is it? To be honest with you, I'm not sure. Vasir Seer is an important part of the puzzle. Yes. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna hit the Vasir Seer. Right. Okay, so I get to respond, Ray. I think I'm going to sacrifice this activated sleeper slash party null. I'm gonna get Esper Sentinel, a Carrion Feeder, a Grand Abolisher, and of course, the Collector Hoof. <laughs> 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 oh boy, that's funny. Okay. All right. Well, I'm still going to do it. Let's get All rid right. of my collector oof. I will sacrifice, uh, whatever. I'll, I'll just let him die. All right. Well, I guess that uh, stops me in my tracks. I will pass. Untap. Draw. Easy. What's your life total? Whoa, I'm at five? I do have two flyers. Were you thinking unhealthy thoughts? I was trying to kill me? I was definitely thinking about killing you, yes. Because I know I couldn't do it last time, but I do feel more confident this next time. <laughs> Exotic Orchard. All right, BZ, I will swing Crown at you. I'm just going to block with Karma Guide. So Karma Guide's dead? Yep. If you had Embercleave, I would die to that. That'd be sweet. I don't have Embercleave, but I do have this Culling Ritual I got forever ago. Nice. Oh, you did get it. Dude, I completely forgot about this. This works out really great for me. I don't really care about this. my thing dying. I know. I'm really bummed here, but... Now I'm also scared of what Cherries is going to do. I may have a response. I will sacrifice these three dorks. I will sacrifice these two dummies. Although I guess there is an Esper Sentinel trigger. Go ahead. Draw your card. Boom! Sucker. Okay, then this goes away. I'll sacrifice these. Sacrifice Citrus Supplier, Mill 3, Calling Ritual, Assassin's Trophy. Then I'll sacrifice Oof. So artifacts are now alive. And then I will also sacrifice Carrion Feeder. So I guess, Cameron, if you want to sack Lotus, you can. Yeah, I'll get that Lotus sack. Right, I'll float three mana. Three, four, five, six. Hilariously, all that mana is going to go to this Ikra Shiriki. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> nice. And then I'm going to pass. Untap. Okay. Draw card. I'm going to cast the DC, Brood Tyrant. Woohoo! Yeah. It's finally here. It's finally here. Pookie Snake. ETB, Mill 3. Let's do it. Swan Song, Rhystic Study, Opposition Agent. That's a creature. I'll make a 2-2 two -two zombie. It's a camera. I'm going to play the Breeding Pool tap, then I'll just pass turn. Oh, God. <laughs> now I have to try again with, like, nothing. I will play this Exotic Orchard. Mm, you know, this might work. This might work. We're going to cast a Mana Crypt. Let's uh, float a Colorless. I'll play a Dank Confidant. Use the Colorless. I'll play a Dranith Magistrate. Mm -hmm. Guys, I don't think I'm going to come through on this one. <laughs> as little as he's ever cast, I will cast Carador for three. Cast a Viscera Seer with him, which is my fourth spell for turn. Oh, yeah. I was supposed to draw. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, you know, I could turn all three of these into a Dread Return. I think I'm going to just do it. I'll flashback Dread Return, targeting Karmic Guide, sacrificing these creatures. I'm going to cast Dress Down. I'll draw my dress. All right. So my crappy karmic guide hits the field and then I'm done. We'll go to my turn. So just down is dead. Just down is sacrifice. You're on borrow time, you fools. We're going to cast a flint horn elf and then we're going to plus up on grist to mill a card. Crop rotation. We're going to make a 1-1 one, one black insect. The 1-1 one, one's actually going to be a spirit instead. That's it for me. I will pass. On tap. Draw. Easy. Jams. Jam City. Chump, Crom, and then I guess double block Ikra Shadiki. So Viscera Seer dies and the Angel dies? I, I mean, I guess I might as well scry one twice. I think I'll leave it on top. We'll play this land, fetch. I will get this overgrown tomb shocked it down to 35. Pass. 
Dock in pass. How many oh. mana is that? Let me see. Oh my god, seven mana. What a coincidence. Uh, draw a card. I'm gonna go to combat. I don't know. I'm gonna come at Grist. I'm gonna combat, attack, CDC trigger, mill three. Divining Witch, Diabolic Intent, and Abrupt Decay, which is a creature, so I will make a 2 2. Grist will take all of the damage. Imperial Seal. Find this card. That's gonna be it. I lose my two life, go down to 35 and pass turn. Upkeep. The odds are ouch. It's a three. I'll go to two. Floating one. I'll put a blood artist on the stack. The game ruiner himself. He's out. <laughs> I'll cast Aven Mindset. I'll finally draw a card. I'll play this Gaius Cradle. Float a green. I'll cast a Grist. I'm going to minus two Grist. Targeting Crown. Yep. I'm going to sack Carador. With both blood artist triggers, I'm going to hit cherries, I guess. I'll go to four. I have a green floating, so I'll try to recast Carador. That's it for me. Here we go. Big top decks. Pass the turn. End stop. Nauseating? Nauseum. Cast that nauseum. Hard cast force of negation. We'll respond to that with a uh, dispel. I will respond by casting with mana mental misstep. <laughs> All right, we'll fight again. I'll try no. and swan song. What the oh. hell? Shoot. I will pass priority on swan song. All right, let's, let's do this. 33. Elvish Spear Guy. Oh, nice. Here, it's now you're sick. Yeah, you have it now because you still get to untap, right? Yeah, you can go through it. All right, let's untap skis. Hopefully, I can figure this out. Draw. I'm going to start with a Chain of Vapor on the Avon Mind Sensor. Say goodbye, Ikra Shadiki. That's fair. Cabal Ritual for five mana. I'll use two on this Wish Claw Talisman. Pay one. BZ, you can have Wish Claw Talisman. No. <laughs> the very same wish cloud talisman. Let's get this terrible proxy lion's eye diamond. Uh, why are you so it. big? I'll cast lion's eye diamond. I'll play underworld breach. A brain freeze. This turn count was five. I'm rolling over ancient tomb, blood crit, blah, blah, blah. I don't think this matters too much. Just I you are going to say them all. LED for three mana. This card in my hand. I'll brain freeze myself over and over again using the LED and we'll mill until I have Thassa's Oracle, which is somewhere. Let's find it. You know what I realized that I should have done a <laughs> too late? BZ, I should have asked you to bounce my CDC with your Chain of Vapor so that I could pitch it to Force of Will, which is the oh, last part of my game. And I just like didn't think of it until you did it, and I was like, oh shit, that would have been good. Oh, that's all good. That would have been so sexy. Honestly, I think at that point it might have been too late. Joe Cherry's already had a bunch of counter spells in their hand because it was post ad nauseum, but it just would have been one extra thing to make them fight over. And it's something that I probably should have done had I thought of it in time, but I didn't. Yumi and BZ were just kind of fighting with each other that whole game. And Cherry's just really had the opportunity to build up a bunch of resources, eventually get the lands to cast a crown. While all of these like stacks pieces were kind of fighting with each other, they just really came out on top. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support us directly, you can do so at Patreon like our $50 patrons. Eli Ritchie, Jason Perkins, Man Solo, Nikola Marakovic, Steven Chalikti, That Green Guy, Plantain Jackson, Isaiah Berliski, Michael Lyon, George Allen, Pedro, Jukai, Byron Wang, C, Kawaja A. Hamid, Jacob Depp, CZ, Michael Ballou, Jan Wildfang, Adrian Grimm, Sleepy Jarvis, Thomas Bono, Swampy McGee, Cheezus, Nocturnal Beaver, David Nelson, Vinny Bianca, Jormax, Moxfield, and Baby Jeebus. Check out our Bonfire store for our t-shirts, sweatshirts, sweatpants, and all of our other merch. Too. If you want to pick up any of the cards you saw today, you can do so at our TCG Player affiliate link down below. Check out our Alter Sleeves affiliate link for 5% off your order. And if you want to pick up any Dragon Shield product, you can do that at our affiliate link. And PlayToWinMTG.com has all of your PlayToWin needs, so go check that out. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Yet another week where Cameron can't catch a break. Joe is also a notorious seat adjuster, so there's mm -hmm. a lot of squirming. <laughs> a lot of squirming going on. It's these damn low flow showers. <laughs> damn low flow showers. <laughs>